Titans, I'm Madison. And I'm Ava. We are very excited to bring you our November show. Roll, Roll the intro. I flew too close to the sun, fell back to earth like a stone. You know, Madison, a lot of the organizations on campus have been very busy these past few weeks leading up to break. That's right. Our fine arts has been at hard work, especially our orchestra. Let's check in with Interdash to see what orchestra has been up to. To celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month at Centennial, our orchestra brought together the rich cultural traditions of our community through the universal language of music. I was inspired to incorporate Hispanic Heritage Month in our orchestra program because we live in Texas and there is a large Hispanic population here and I wanted to elevate the kind of art forms and cultures that are present both in our campus and in our state and highlight those through the gifts that we have of music making. This kind of work has been something I've been passionate about for a while and has led me and Miss Moore, who teaches orchestra over at Lebanon Trail High School, to be invited to present at the Texas Music Educators Association Conference in San Antonio next year, as well as the American String Teachers Association Conference, which will also happen in Atlanta. For our 2B orchestra, we played music from Coco, and during that process, we watched different clips from Coco and talked about the holiday of Dia de los Muertos, which is actually coming up in a few days now, and even had a student teach our class different Spanish words based on the different holiday aspects and be able to share a little bit about how her family celebrates the Adela's Retos. My culture is very important to me. It reminds me of where I'm from and it brings me comfort talking about it. I get to share like different experiences that I had in different cultures, what I do with my life. And overall, it's really nice. Is it important that we are able to keep that op this authenticity with as many original instruments as we can. As we move forward into the new month, let's hold on to the spirit of Hispanic Heritage Month. Thanks for watching. This has been Interdesh from Tyne TV. You know, Ava, Thanksgiving break is only a few days away. Oh, trust me. I know. I've been counting down the days. What are you looking forward to? Ooh, probably Thanksgiving Day. You know, getting to spend quality time with friends and family and the delicious food. I agree. Speaking of all the delicious Thanksgiving dishes, here's Vanessa with more. What is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Probably turkey. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. Uh, I gotta go with turkey. Where did the Thanksgiving main dish turkey come from? Germany. Is it a turkey? It's from a turkey. <laughs> What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Uh, mashed potatoes. Where did the Thanksgiving dish mashed potatoes come from? Ireland. Scotland. Louisiana. Ireland. Ireland. Sweden. Say America. <laughs> is that one England? The answer is United Kingdom. United Kingdom? Oh, nah, I never knew that. I never knew that. Where did the Thanksgiving dish pumpkin pie come from? Europe? Germany. The Middle East. Uh, like Ireland. Not the US. What is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Hawaiian rolls with cranberry sauce. Where did the Thanksgiving dish cranberries come from? Ohio. <laughs> um, native plant of the US.
You know who else has been working hard at CHS, Ava? Who? The swim team. Let's go to Jake and find out what they've been up to. With early mornings, intense training, and a challenging competition, Centennial swim team has been trying very hard every time they enter the water. Let's hear what Coach Beal has to say about his team. I think our biggest achievement this year has been uh, our boys breaking one of our school records and then we have some girls that are really close to breaking some school records, but uh, a lot of it's just been all of us pushing each other to be better, um, showing up on time and working hard. It has not, however, been easy. The team has also had their fair share of challenges as well. I think the most challenging part is probably how long our season is. We go from August until the end of February if you qualify for state and they're waking up at 5.45 in the morning to be here for practice at 6.30. And we go from 6.30 to 9 pretty much every day. And so it's, it's a long season. We swim almost every holiday um, besides crew, like our winter break where they get a little more of a break, but they're still here for majority of that winter break too. I think a memorable moment for me was last year at regionals when our boys, we had a lot of sickness that was going on and just boys stepped up in a big way. Um, and we broke a school record that hadn't been broken in a while. And it was just cool to see them fight through the adversity. And they all just had one goal that they all shared and they all wanted to swim fast and they all did it. Swimming is a big commitment and is a key part of these students' lives. Come out to support them at their next meet on December 13th and 14th at the Bruce Eubanks Natatorium. This has been Jake with Tyne TV. Thanksgiving isn't the only fall holiday. You're right, there's Halloween, Dia de los Muertos. Don't spoil all the holiday fun. Let's find out from Regina what holidays our Titans have been celebrating this fall. Happy fall, y'all. From dressing up to lighting candles and eating pan de muerto, let's recap of some fall festivities now that fall is coming to an end. Halloween, the holiday of dressing up as a whole host of different ghouls and goblins to walk through the neighborhood for candy. Paloma Creek definitely had some interesting ideas to lighten up the neighborhood for the spookiest time of the year. Lots of our Centennial students also shared with us how they lit up their weekend with Diwali. The students here at Centennial had quite the busy weekend celebrating Diwali, a festival of lights in honor of Lakshmi, the Hindu goddess of prosperity. They ate some amazing food and lit up the sky with sparklers. Such a great holiday to spend with friends and family. Speaking of good food, you know what's good too? Pan de Muerto. Dia de los Muertos is a Hispanic holiday that takes place on November 2nd. Families celebrate by creating an altar adorned with marigold flowers, placing food with images of their loved ones to remember. This holiday is super special for those who have loved and lost. Many people from many different cultures and backgrounds have their own holidays to celebrate. Whether it's dressing up, honoring the dead, or celebrating prosperity for the future, everyone has a reason to pack the season with amazing and beautiful holidays. I'm Regina with Titan TV. Wow, that package really put me in the holiday spirit. Yep, just in time to close out our Thanksgiving episode with a little Thanksgiving-themed Titan Tea Time. Here's Sasha and Avni with more. Hi guys, welcome back to Titan Tea Time, holiday edition. Popeye's the first one, and uh -huh. this Tea Time talking is about Jojo Siwa. I didn't agree to this. I want that to be done. So, she nominated herself for the Grammys as Best New Artist. How do you feel about that? Who is Jojo Siva again? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Doing it a five out of seven. Me too. Here's a little dry. Um, Three out of seven? It looks like a uh, 10 out of 10. Maybe, I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Are you okay? No. It looks we like a solid seven out of 10. Siva. Okay, on our list, Cajun fries from Popeyes. It's very beautiful. Oh, I need to rate those fries. They're kind of cold, so I'm giving them a two. Now is a good time to apply for a library card. Okay, guys, I'm testing one bite. I'm gonna test the whole bite. <laughs> one bite, everyone knows the rule. Mine was uh, 63 out of 63. <laughs> Why 63? First number that came to my mind. Okay, so Bruno Mars recently made a comeback. Oh, with did he? Smile and all but say. Bye with a smile, smile featuring Lady Gaga and Apata. No, he is being featured in Apata. It's Rose. Let me listen to this. We gotta listen to this. You know, we gotta listen to it. Yeah. Yeah, Rose Day is one of the singers from that. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Mid. 
This song sucks. Mm. You guys can't hear it. Did, he, did you guys hear that? He said Bruno Mars sucks. Roll Tide. Dude, Bruno Mars doesn't suck. What happened to Uptown Funk, man? <laughs> we're so cooked. We're cooked, yeah. Yes, we're very cooked. Maybe, why, yeah, maybe you shouldn't have signed up for this. How about we talk about something meaningful, camera? I just wanted to be known that Cowboys are not good at football, and I do not look forward to watching them this Thanksgiving. Let's just try the Oreos, man. What about the new Fortnite season? Chapter one's better. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we will come up with a better idea. Yeah. That's all we have for today, Titans. This has been Ava and Madison with, with Titan, Titan TV, TV signing off. off.